Hey guys, Rigo here. Just a quick uh, note to say thanks to all of you who showed up for my series last week, or at least some of the classes when I was at Capitus in Atlanta. Uh, just thanks for being such an easy group to, to have fun with, and I hope you learned some stuff. I thought I'd drop you a quick follow-up video here uh, to talk about some of the books that came up during our time together. Um, too Soon Old, Too Late Smart. Uh, I've mentioned this, Gordon Livingston, the late Gordon Livingston. He was a psychiatrist. He's also a West Point graduate and uh, served in the military. Here's where I got that line. Any relationship is under the control of the person who cares the least. What does that tell us about how to negotiate? Put ourselves in a position with some options so we'll not be able to care so much. Here's another one. Remember I kept saying uh, all stress in life is caused by violated expectations? You guys kind of like that line? That kind of came from this idea that opens this work, uh, this book, A Road Less Traveled by Scott Peck. I think this came out about the time I got out of high school. It opens with this line, life is difficult. This is a great truth, one of the greatest truths. It's a great truth because once we truly see this truth, we transcend it. Once we truly, truly know that life is difficult, once we truly understand and accept it, then life is no longer difficult. Once we set our baseline there and just go, hey man, today's gonna have something tough, let's just be prepared to deal with it, it kinda cleans things up for us. Another one, this one's kinda heavy, I mentioned it to you. You know, I love talking about money and relationships. This is a doozy book about money. Take you some time to get through it uh, by Professor Jacob Needleman. Money and the Meaning of Life. One of the questions we have about money is, you know, what can I fix with money and what can I not fix with money? Here's one of the lines from the book. Uh, when does dealing with a personal problem by means of money mask what needs to be directly faced? And when does using money reflect a realistic understanding of the forces that are involved in a situation and if what is really needed? More sentences like that. Like I said, not an easy to read, but a pretty compelling book. And then last but not least, if you just want to completely reset your baseline on whether you're having a bad day or not, read this book by Holocaust survivor Viktor Frankl, Man's Search for Meaning. Not a very thick book. Uh, I don't know, uh, what, like uh, 275 pages, something like that. I read it for the second or third time recently. Just really cleaned up my attitude about life. Great to be with you guys. As you know, I do uh, private coaching, so if you have an interest in that, uh, let me know. Uh, there's, a, there's a link here in this email. And um, if I could just help you, if you want to run something by me, drop me a note, schedule a time. I'll be back in Atlanta probably sometime in 2023. Uh, so I hope I'll, I'll pass across again.